right outside Zion National Park and getting ready to set out on a four to five week trek to Green River, Utah. Day two. Day four. Day six. Day eight. Day 10. Day 12. Day 14. Morning of day 16. Morning of day 17. Today we have a lot of walking down river. A lot of it will probably be in the river. Here we go. <laughs> this is one tough thing about this part of the um, Escalante is the river is really entrenched, so the banks are steep making it difficult to cross anywhere you want. So you have to find a, find a good spot. Like this place will work, I think. The trail goes down here and I think I can get out on that far side. All these white flowers are really in bloom this morning. It's really pretty. Actually, technically, I think it's a weed. But what is the difference between a weed and a flower anyway? Especially when it's pretty. All right, taking a little break in the shade. It was right across the river from here in an alcove very similar to this that my friends and I camped out in 2009 in the middle of a downpour. In the morning we realized it was full of spiders so we nicknamed it Spider Alcove and uh, yeah it was a fun time. It was a very atypical monsoon downpour for that year and uh, it was a crazy time. In fact the river was so high in the morning we had to turn around and go back to uh, go back to the bridge to find an alternate route. So yeah no wonder my friends don't join me on these hikes very often, huh? <laughs> All right, that's the report for now. Headed down river. Found a cool little camp spot. It would have been nice for my friends and me instead of that little alcove we were in during the downpour. It's much larger. I'm back into Caterpillar Central right now. Lots of caterpillar bags in the trees. And down here on the ground, I just noticed it is just covered with dead caterpillars. It just goes on and on and on. So this must be where they go to die. So I don't see any metamorphosis happening here. Check it out, a big arch that I just stumbled upon. Technically, I don't think it's an arch, but a uh, slide rock, because I think this whole piece has fallen and is just leaning now against the main wall. I'm in another small cave right off the river, and I can't tell if this is like bat guano or something else. At first I thought it was a fire char, but no, it's actual a substance that's dropping down from above and it looks like some type of creature has a home up there. So I don't know if this is bats or a bird of some sort, possibly a rodent, I'm not sure. All right, we gotta keep going. I'm at the confluence of Escalante River and Boulder Creek, that's Boulder Creek on the right, which basically doubles the amount of volume of water in the Escalante. So there will be a lot more water from here on down. What's interesting this year is this is not the same point that the two used to meet. They used to meet about oh, almost a quarter of a mile up from here. So evidently a large flood has altered the course of the Escalante and it now hugs the, the rock there on the left, 
whereas it used to meet farther up and what's on the right now used to be the Escalante River. Even the maps show the junction still farther up that way, about a quarter mile. So, everything's changing. Constant evolution, geologic time includes now. All right, let's keep walking, we're going this way. I'm excited, I've actually never walked this next section of the Escalante River. For some reason I've always skipped out, gone up Boulder Creek or alternate ways, but yeah, this next 10 miles or so I've never walked down, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's go. Walking down the river, spotted this big crack. I wonder if we can walk through that. Let's go try. Well, the far end looks like it might be too skinny to get through, but yeah, we'll give it a go. Be able to get through that. Oh, I'm gonna have to take the pack off though. <laughs> I'm gonna start rubbing. Oh, yeah, I don't think I can get through. So close, but just a little too tight. Okay, I'm gonna leave the pack here because I'm sure I can't get through, but I'm curious how far I can get or to see if a skinny, skinny person can do it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, skinny person. Actually, I'm going to be able to get through here. I just don't think I can get the pack through here. spiders all over these walls too. All right spiders I'm coming through. spiders and it looks like a little bit of a climb to get out so that was fun but yeah I don't think I can do it with the big pack even trying to drag it behind me would be too much effort I'm just gonna take the lazy bend that's where the secret passage came out and looking around the next bend there's another crack so it must just be a fault line in the rocks this next one looked way too skinny to get through Yum, quite the lunch. A melted cliff bar and warm Budweiser. I'm living it up today.
of hard to tell, but I think there's a little uh, granary up there. Yep, that's a little granary. Another nice stretch of river walking. I think I'm gonna have to take a break and take a swim here in a minute. Midday sun is getting kind of warm. Maybe if we can find a pool up under this amazing bend in the river, we'll do just that. Floating down the river. Oh boy, I'm tired. Bada bump. Okay, bad jokes aside, I am pretty tired. I uh, always forget how tough the Escalante is. It's, um, I love it, but man, the brush, the sand, the river crossings, plunging into the river and out of the river, walking on the cobblestones in the river. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I've gone. Just a little over half of what I hope to do today. The day's not over, but still, I'm not going to make my mileage again today. So um, we'll see, but it won't be much longer and I'll have a good rest and a good dinner and all will be better tomorrow. Cheers. Cool looking side canyon. Wish I had time to explore, but I need to make up some time. Keep going down river. Walking down the Escalante again. Some clouds have moved in. A little overcast now. Doesn't look like enough to make a storm, but uh, we'll see. I really don't want the rain on me, but I wouldn't mind some rain in the potholes for my next section. Nice, tall, streaked Escalante walls in this section. Some really big walls. It's a great little echo here. Hello! <laughs> Hello! I came up to check out this alcove for future camping reference. And it looks like some ancient people have camped here as well. There's a Bit of a collection gallery, but also several rubbing spots where they would sharpen their tools. There's some rock art. I can't tell if it's old, authentic, or more contemporary. There's some more. This looks contemporary, but Six-toed feet. Strange. And pottery shards. That's a little collection gallery people have collected together, but if you look at the ground around here, you'll, you'll see quite a bit. It's a pretty cool spot. And like I like to say, they had one heck of a view. So, silver lining for you. If I hadn't gotten so frustrated with that brush up in there and ended up fighting my way back to the river, 
I would have never noticed that arch up there. Check that out. I've never seen any mention of that either. I came over to check out this side canyon, and there's really not much to it, just a big crack. But I noticed here there's a trail going up into higher into the canyon. And then closer inspection, I see some rock walls. So it's a constructed uh, cow trail, probably. So I'm gonna have to check a map to see exactly where we are, because I didn't know there was any uh, constructed trails getting in and out of here at this point. Cool stuff.